Good evening everyone. I'm here tonight to bring you some uh, health, healthful, helpful benefits of herbs for uh, asthma. Now what I'm getting my where I'm getting my information from is the prescription for nutritional healing and what I wanted to do was to start bringing you small videos that cover one topic of an ailment and just to list a few of the herbs and plants that you can use for aiding yourself to be healthier regarding specific illnesses. Now this video is going to cover asthma. Now this is something that I'm very familiar with. I, ha I developed asthma as an infant my father was a smoker. I was exposed to that for five years of my life uh, as a child and what they say is when a child small is exposed to uh, tobacco smoke and really any kind of smoke it damages their lungs so that they can't uh, develop a healthy respiratory system. Now there's some science for that um, it can also be genetic, you know, um, it just it just happens to be that it turns up genetically sometimes. Now, I've had it since I was an infant. I have been on nebulizers and inhalers. I have never received, um, I used a steroid inhaler for about two years. And I, I could never tell any difference. That was when you're supposed to take every day in an attempt to strengthen your lungs. Well, asthma doesn't come from just weak lungs or weak bronchial tubes. Asthma is, uh, is a multi-layered disease to where it has to do with mucus production, responses of the lungs to irritants um, and activity. So it's not just about the strength of the lungs, it's about the sensitivity of the lungs. And I never found any health benefits from the steroid inhalers. The only ones that have ever helped me have been the survival inhalers, the albuterol, once an attack started. Now I'm not on any medication right now. I do not have uh, any albuterol at all. So I keep on hand the mullen, the dried mullen leaves, that I then light and just kind of waft, and then I inhale it along with, there's a mix that I use of the wild lettuce, the mullen, and bay leaves. Sometimes I sprinkle uh, spearmint leaves in with that as well. But I developed severe asthma uh, about six years ago to the point that I started having um, fibrosis in my left lung. I had repeated bouts of pneumonia, bacterial pneumonia, and I was diagnosed with COPD. Well, now after three years of continual use of wild lettuce, and mullen and those are my primary and I'm talking about everyday daily use drinking the tea whether it's just a little or a lot I've used it every day for three years there's no more fibrosis in my left lung there's no more difficulty breathing when I talk there's no more difficulty of me doing activities so uh, my recommendation, my personal recommendation, is wild lettuce and mullein. And those are easy to get. They're free everywhere. You can find them on the side of the road, pull them up, dry them, and make a tea. You can also order them very easily online to use as a tea for asthma. Now, I'm going to read from the book the recommendations, the herbal recommendations that they give. So we're going to start out with feverfew, ginger, green tea, licorice root, lobelia, 
schisandra berries, and skullcap. Um, there are, uh, it says lobelia extract is helpful during an asthma attack. It is a bronchial soothing, muscle relaxant, and expectorant. Now, uh, let's go into the wild lettuce. What we found with the chemical analysis of the plant was the hyocycamine, which is in the wild lettuce, is an antispasmodic. So when the lungs and the bronchial tubes start spazzing and causing the asthma attack, the wild lettuce relieves that because of its high levels of hyocycamine in the plant. Uh, Boswellia is an Indian herb. It's also known as frankincense. It can reduce asthma symptoms. Mullein oil is said to be a powerful remedy for bronchial congestion. It stops coughs, unclogs bronchial tubes, and helps clear up asthma attacks. Other people say, users say that when they take it in the form of a tea, the effect is almost immediate. Now, I can speak to that 100%. Taking a one cup of mullein tea, just hot mullein tea, and sipping on it within 20 to 30 minutes, I'm done. There's, there's no asthma going on. If I add the wild lettuce to it, uh, the pain that often comes with the asthma attack, the spazzing of the lungs, it's relieved as well. But you're getting that high dose of hyoscyamine in a natural plant that relieves this. And the mullein has been used for thousands and thousands of years, just like the wild lettuce, for asthma. Now, uh, other herbs that are beneficial to asthma include Echinacea, licorice root, slippery elm bark, ginger root, and elderberry. Now, on these, again, some of these, and then there were more listed that are in other countries. Now, I, I gear my videos mostly to America because that's where the biggest part of my subscribers live. That's where I live. I wildly, strongly, firmly advise for people to use what is near you. I've had people blow me up with, you slippery elm, you slippery elm, you slippery elm. Well, you know what? I ain't got none around me. I ain't got none. So what am I going to do? I'm going to use what is around me, which is primarily the mullein. The mullein right now, and one of my subscribers and uh, a fellow Lincoln Countyan, um, has, he's out foraging for mullein right now. The cooler months are excellent for foraging the mullein plants, and what I mean is the whole plant, to dig them up with as much earth as you can around the root and bring them into your yard. You can find a, a smallish plant that may be four or six inches across, a first year plant. And within that first year, by the time summertime comes around, that joker may be three or four feet wide. So I urge you, if you have the means, the energy, and the wherewithal to look for mullein plants, if you have asthma, that's your go-to plant right there. It grows everywhere. It even grows in the desert. It grows in the mountains. It grows all over the world. Mullein is a plant that upon drinking the tea from the leaves, immediately relieves that asthma. It also thins mucus which causes that um, clogging of your air ducts and it relieves the spasms, it thins the mucus, and then it acts as an expectorant to help you get the mucus out of your system. So that's uh, some herbal suggestions for asthma. And again, most of this information 
comes out of this prescription for nutritional healing book and it is remedies using vitamins minerals herbs and food supplements and I'll be bringing you more of these uh, over the winter time so that we can cover uh, several different diseases and ailments and what herbs you need to correct those things and how you can work them into your diet healthy um, bringing that to you again most of those plants that I've been listing are antiviral antibacterial antifungal antimicrobial they are immune boosters uh, they have the sesquiterpenes which oxygenate the blood so that's why I want y'all to be integrating uh, winter time is a hard time you need to be integrating these wild plants these herbs into your diet even if you need to order it online um, that uh, that young man with oh with his lovely young family oh, what's his name it's that wild food company that I ordered my lines main from um, he is very reputable and he is uh, building a legacy for his family off of wild foods now you can read about him uh, you can uh, he does podcast as well how you can integrate these wild foods into your diet for your health so these people are on Etsy uh, they are they are on Amazon, but Etsy is where I am finding these purveyors of excellent quality, homegrown, farmed, human hands owned small business people who want other people to be healthy. So I really advocate for y'all if you can't get out and forage. There are reputable dealers on Etsy. So get you some herbal supplements that are specific to the disease you need to fix. Um, concentrate or on one or two uh, plants. Don't, don't fill up on 20 different plants. You don't need that. That's redundant. You need one or two things to heal yourself whether it is the diabetes, the asthma, the high blood pressure, start small, go slow, and be very measured about how you start changing your life and start taking control of your life to increase your health. So this video went on way longer than I meant for it to, but for asthma, my biggest suggestions are mullein and the wild lettuce. So, until next time, I hope this has been beneficial to you. If you don't want to hear these, you don't think this is a good idea, well, you can click on other videos. Right now, I'm on a glut watching the Jocko Willick, Willick videos. I just love him. He's, he's wonderful. His uh, philosophy is wonderful. So, uh, click on other videos. Look around. But I want y'all to empower yourselves for a better, healthier life. And until next time, God bless you all. Good night.